One of the brand new features Rockstar added in the latest GTA Online DLC are these payphone missions. These are a new set of missions that Franklin can give you. And in my opinion, I think they're actually very good. This might be one of the more underrated parts of this DLC. Everyone's focusing on the contracts and Dr. Dre and all that stuff, but these payphone missions are actually very good. I would say in addition to these payphone missions with these security contracts, this is a more up-to-date VIP mission structure. The VIP missions are still good and everything, but basically I think these are just better. And in this video, I just wanna go over them, how do you get them, how to find them, how to unlock them, best ways to complete them, and how to make a ton of extra money doing them. Now, like I said, this is from Franklin, and unfortunately I don't have, I, I couldn't find the original call when Franklin let me know these were available, but to unlock them, I believe you need to do about five or so security contracts, like the regular old contracts. I forget how many I did, but I did do a few. And then Franklin called me to tell me basically, hey, I unlocked these payphone missions. Be on the lookout for the payphone around the, the Los Santos map, basically. And the way it works, at least for the first payphone mission, it's just random. It's complete RNG as to where the phone call will happen. But here is an actual map of the locations. I'll leave a link to the website this map is from if you want to take a look at it, maybe in a better resolution or something or just more zoomed in. But you can see there are a lot of payphone areas around the map. And that first one is honestly just going to come down to luck. Just simply drive around until you hit it. That's basically what I did. I was just driving around and that's what you're going to see here. It just pops up on your map. Thankfully, mine was in the city, so it wasn't like too far out of the way. Mine wasn't up in Polito Bay, which would have been annoying. But yeah, mine was in the city and that's actually how you start it. Once you have the uh, you know prerequisites, once Franklin calls you to let you know these payphone missions are available, just drive around until you get your first payphone mission. Once you get that, then you're set, you're good to go. It's easy after that. It's just that first one that's RNG that's gonna be a little annoying. But as you can see, you just walk up to it. There's a little cutscene, And uh, the one important thing he mentions here, this is what's gonna make you the extra money. Towards the end, Franklin says, that the clients will pay extra if you do it the right way. It basically, if you assassinate these people in the way the client wants, and that's what's gonna net you the extra money. And it's actually quite a bit of extra money. So for this first one, I don't know if the first one is the same for everyone. I doubt it is, it's probably just random. But for mine, I had to go murder the co-founder of some business, I guess, I don't know. The assassination bonus when I got up here though was to set the target's car on fire while they're inside it. Easy enough, at least I thought, but because I didn't really know what was going on, I ended up failing. So I had to wait for him to check out the hotel. That's what the little timer is at the bottom right. And uh, what ended up happening on this mission for me was I spooked him, basically right as he was getting to his car. So learn from my mistake here. They can, like the NPCs and stuff, Obviously you can, uh, you know, see you and you will scare them like I just did. And I basically failed my uh, assassination bonus. And you'll see when I end up killing him and then you have to lose the cops, I get almost like no money. The hit is complete here. And all I ended up getting was just a measly $15,000. So these assassination missions, these pay for missions by themselves without doing the bonus, probably not worth it 15k not a lot of money and even franklin called me was like yo you got the money but you missed out because you didn't do it the right way now the second go around i was doing this with a friend and we actually did get the bonus but before we get into that bonus the reason why i said that first payphone mission is going to be like the hardest or at least the, the most random is because you can't call franklin for another one you have to just wait until the payphone rings around the map. But the good news, once you get that first mission done, then you can simply just go into your contacts and call Franklin to set up the next payphone hit. And then it'll spawn at a random payphone around the city, around the map. I think there's a good balance between just complete RNG, like some of the other things, features they put in the game, 
versus just you know being able to do it whenever you want but all we're gonna do here for the second time is give franklin a call and then request a payphone hit then we're gonna go to the little phone booth and then listen to the cutscene. now because i was doing this with a second person the mission itself was sort of increased you'll actually see i got this next the same mission when i was doing this solo we'll take a look at that next with two people though we have six total targets to assassinate where when i did this solo as you'll see there's only four so the more people you do have i guess the harder these missions might be they might have more people they might make it longer i mean i don't know exactly what rockstar have in place for that but they are different if you do it with more people versus solo now for this one all we had to do was murder these people by running them over with our car so that was the assassination bonus which of course made it take a little longer because we couldn't just like fly up there and kill them with an oppressor mark ii or a helicopter or a jet or something we just went up there driving with our cars but in the end we ended up doing it it's it was barely fairly simple i mean just running over people with your car and then look at the bonus we end up getting. We get $70,000 for a bonus payment, which means you get 85 total thousand dollars. That's a lot of money for what we just did. I would say so far, at least the payment, the payphone missions I've done are very simple. And if you get $85,000 every time, that's a lot of money. That's something that, like I said, is basically way better than the vip missions this might be one of the the more efficient ways to make money now doing a combination of these payphone missions or the security stuff and then maybe even tying it into the vip missions and stuff but yeah eighty-five thousand is the amount you get for that and then just one more time this is the uh the payphone mission the third one i did this one was solo and I wanted to test actually, this one was done in an invite only lobby. And as you can see, they work perfectly in an invite only lobby. You can actually do this without even being a VIP or CEO. I mean, I don't know why you would, but you can if you wanted to. But you'll see, I actually get the exact same mission. I get the trolls. And again, it's only four this time. Although the assassination bonus is different. So I'm guessing every time the bonus is gonna be different this time, it was simply kill them within seven minutes, which was very easy to do with the Oppressor Mark II. Although the Oppressor Mark II does not lock onto the targets, you know, that's it's easy enough because they're just sitting around here. So you just blow them up, shoot the rocket into a wall or something, and then you're fine. And then to end it, look at this. We hit the last person here. We simply drive away, and then we get eighty five thousand dollars easy as that now a couple of other extra details about these payphone missions so you'll actually see here i tried to call franklin again for another one and unfortunately even though they do pay out great you have to wait 20 total minutes before you can request another one i don't know if that's the same like let's say you were with a friend if you guys could just switch to like his ceo or mc and then do it we'll have to do some more testing on this but that may be a way to sort of get around this you just switch it up one person does the payphone mission once then your friend does it the next time then you just keep alternating speaking of friends when i did it with my friend he actually only ended up getting i think forty five thousand dollars so he didn't get the full eighty five thousand but i guess still forty five thousand is not terrible but like I said, I think this is one of the more underappreciated aspects of this DLC. Everything else is great, but I do actually like these little missions that take only like a handful of minutes to complete. And if you get 85,000, I mean, that's not a lot of money, but it's a decent amount. Like if you're just wanting to do something to, I don't know, maybe purchase, like if you're real poor and you just need some money to purchase a couple of upgrades to certain things, do one of these payphone missions and in like five minutes you'll have 85k in no time for very little work so i i really like that aspect about this dlc and like i said once we figure out maybe the more efficient ways of doing this maybe maybe after a security contract or something to 
get us the most money uh, i'll make a video to let you guys know about that but anyway that's gonna do it for the video thank you guys for watching please drop it a like if you did enjoy subscribe for more gta content and as always i'll see you all in the next one